Rikers Island, February 25th, 1965, 9.05 a.m. This is the personal audio record of Dr. Sadie Leon, rehabilitation psychologist for the New York State Correctional System. Today is my first meeting with inmate number 70370, a Mr. Finn Breslin. Mr. Breslin is currently serving multiple life sentences for the known murders of Samuel Sinclair, Travis Helm, and Theo Lenny Walsh. Do you need me to repeat the question? Mr. Breslin? What are you looking at? Mr. Breslin, what are you looking at? Hello? Your shoes. My shoes? Yeah. How long have you been at Rikers, Mr. Breslin? I've never seen shoes like those before. You've never seen pumps? Pumps? No, I've never seen pumps. It's a common woman's shoe. Oh, yeah? I guess I should have paid better attention. Will you please pull your head out from under the table? How long have you been incarcerated for, Mr. Breslin? You don't know the answer to that. I do, but it's on my list of questions to ask, and I'd like to ask them all. You put on makeup for me. I put on makeup for me. It's been a long time since I've seen a woman. What about Officer Jenny? She's a woman. Yeah. Barely. I mean, a woman like you. How old are you? When did you first go to jail, Mr. Ruslan? How old were you? I'd like it if you call me Finn. All right. How old were you, Finn, when you were first incarcerated? Six. If you count the cage in the basement, 16 if you mean juvie. Can you tell me more about the cage? You know, you look like the kind of woman who could have been in the movie. I can think of no other way, none better in fact, than to lay out all the tones, the palette of our minuet. Violets, yellows, greens, these hues have swept my blues right out. What kind of women have you known? Well, Theo. He never brought girls, women. He never brought anyone like that around the apartment. You know what I mean? How do you think Theo managed that? It was a collective effort amongst many assholes. What kind of people did come around? You know, I thought I was queer. For a long time, I thought I was queer. Theo told me I was, so I thought I was. We all did. I gave my first handy at seven to one of those people he'd bring around. It wasn't until I was 11 years old and I caught a glimpse of a magazine that I got a real look at a woman's figure and a real feel. You know what I mean? Where'd the magazine come from? One of my brothers acquired it for me. It was a gift. Which magazine was it? Life Magazine. August 11, 1941. He got it for my 11th birthday. There was this incredible looking woman on the cover in a bikini on the beach, looking so happy, so 
relaxed. Life magazine. They don't put just anyone on the cover. <laughs> oh, they do not. It was Rita Hayworth. I found out much later who she was, but I could tell even then she was, uh, she was something special. I managed to keep that magazine a secret for exactly 575 days, which, looking back now, that was uh, pretty impressive on my part. Impressive? What's that? Do you do any of your homework before coming here? Of course I did. So you're just hurting me for the fun of it. Did they punish you? What do you, you think? <clears throat> How many brothers did you have? Well, lots came and went, but there were uh, five of us that Theo officially adopted. Kevin, Killian, Sean, Leonard, and me. We were in a building in plain sight. 676 Hunts Point Avenue. I grew up in the South Bronx. Hey, look at that. We were neighbors. Did anyone tell you that it's being torn down? They're putting in public housing. They took it down when that happened. It was condemned. When that happened? It just happened. It sat there empty for quite some time after the raid. Yeah. Well, I'd heard that. You seem upset. I had some stuff in there is all. Everything's in evidence. Is there something in particular that you're wondering about? N no, I, I think I'm good for now. Can you tell me more about your brothers? Nah, I, I'm good for now. I've only gotten two questions answered. How many did you come with? 102. Then I guess I'll be seeing you again, beautiful. I'll be here. Yeah.